Package in the mail, MSX came from Japan. Let in with our fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a box in the mail, uh, all the way from um, Toby at Collectivision in Canada. Um, it is a um, homebrew game for the ColecoVision that I ordered, along with some bonus items from Toby. Um, Toby is a mad Xbox collector, original Xbox. He has every game, um, but he's actually now collecting uh, ver cover variants and controller variants, and he's been finding a few um, of those items here in Australia sending them to me and I package them up <laughs> and send them across to him. So in return, he, he said he'd send me a couple of games. Um, he sent me more than a couple of games, so he's been very generous. Now the thing that I actually ordered, so with one, the one game I purchased off Collectivision, uh, this is this is another MSX conversion, but it's a bit more of an unusual one, and they've done it in quite a nice way. So it was an original game and then a sequel. I actually have a copy of the sequel, and it's not a cheap game to own on the MSX. And it's other they're called The Castle and Castle Excellent. Um, and they've done it in this nice collector's slipcase. And you've got the two individual titles in there, and it's all covered in trinket. I'm going to open that in a second. Um, and um, yeah, it looked really nice, and I do enjoy I mean. Uh, I will say the Castle Excellent itself, uh, the music is a little annoying, <laughs> but as an actual um, action platformer, it's um, it's not a bad game. I've never played the original Castle, so I don't have any particular um, opinion of that one. So I'm just carefully cutting the plastic. So instead, I'll try and keep the plastic around the um, the rest of it protected because obviously this is not going to. Um, fit in a box protector. Done one end. Let's do the other end. I think my knife needs to be sharpened. Alright. came off and the boxes didn't come in. Right, here they come. Nice tight fit. Right, okay, so the first one is the castle, which I I haven't played, I believe. They look very similar. So it's one of those nice action platform type games where you have to go around find objects and keys and dodge the enemies and make your way through the castle to find the princess I believe. Um, so that's the first one, the castle. So it's originally a game by ASCII Corp. And here's the second one, Castle Excellent, the sequel, which I'm sure is the one that I actually have. Let's see, I believe they've done something a little different with the cartridges themselves as well. Yeah, they've done two-toned cartridges. So orange on the back, green on the front for the castle. Um, and it has a I'm not going to take it anyway. And our other one. Castle excellent. Another two-tone, this time we've got black. And gold. As he always drops the cartridge. So very much looking forward to playing those. So we'll be definitely popping those in the Coleco to have a game. Now, as well as those, he sent me not a couple of games, but four homebrews. And what's really good about all these homebrews, uh, they are not M6 ports. These are original games written for the Coleco. Now this first one. Um, it's called Another Victory SCs, which is another um, Exidy arcade game. I'm not 100% sure, but is this another one of those games that was on 
one of the original Coleco flyers and was never released. So I'm very interested to see what it, it's it's very defenderish in the screenshot there, and I love the um, the cover. Bit of a snow speeder vibe going on there. So play with the Clevision standard controller, so no expansions needed. And I like these new shiny boxes too. They're a lot higher, you know, higher quality. Oh, well, we've actually got a tray as well. That's excellent. So, it actually has a tray now. Almost got me. And there's the cartridge. So they do do a very good... Yeah, all oh, these trays are excellent. I hope they continue those. So it looks just like a game from back in the day. And there's the, the manual. So I'll just pop that on top there. I won't try and put it back in the box now. Now, next one is... Uh, Quattro, which looks like a bit like Tetris, and you can do side by side as well, so maybe two player Tetris. Once again, for the original ColecoVision, no expansions needed, and a nice shiny box. So this one doesn't have the cardboard tray in it. There we go. I do like those new cardboard trays, they're excellent. And the manual looks like it's in colour as well. Next, like I said I haven't really heard any of these. I haven't really been. I think the last one I saw on the forums at some stage. Um, the next one is, is Flora and the Ghost Mirror. I don't know whether this is some sort of adventure, adventure action game or something. Uh, action game, by the looks of it. It's by Daniel. Benuvo, um, there's voiceovers, so it's going to be interesting. Let's see what colour cartridge we have. There we go. So, so I really know nothing about this game. Be interesting to try it out. And next one is uh, looks pretty decent. It's Tank Mission, really nice, colourful cover. And it's not just tanks shooting each other, it looks like there's an element where you go inside the bases and everything as well. It's really nice to see a, um, a um, title with a slightly different cover too. Um, and really big sprites and things, so interested to see what this is going to play like. And here's our cartridge. So only one of them had that new tray, so maybe that victory one is, is one of the newest ones. I'll, I do like the tray and I do like these new glossy boxes, much better cardboard and um, makes it really high quality and they should last longer. I mean I'll put them in box protectors because I've got some box protectors. Oh, this one actually says on the back, enhance for the F18A. So F18A is an, is an add-on um, you can replace the TI-9938 processor in your ColecoVision and it gives you VGA output and uh, more colours and um, reduce sprite flicker and you can actually program your games to detect that and they look better. Now I, I have one of those but I haven't put it into one of my ColecoVisions. I wasn't going to mod my original one which is the one here. I have a second one uh, but I, I haven't actually, it's a second one that I bought quite cheap. I haven't actually got it working yet. Um, just something I haven't put enough time into, so it'll be interesting. All right. Thank you very much, Toby, for sending these across. Um, let's go give them a play. <coughs> right, so as it's, as you can see on that time title screen there, this is a hack of victory. I forgot all about victory. I do actually have a loose card of this, I believe. I haven't played it for a very long time. So I take it, uh, this is so you can use the normal controller work. Um, I think it might have been the roller controller. You could have to play this one. I really haven't played it for a long time, so I'm going to be rubbish at it regardless, so let's see how we go. Oh. The TV sound. Okay, so that rotates. So in a way it's a bit like um, Defender, uh, Thrust, well, we've got so much fuel. 
There's a radar down there, so I'm supposed to be... Oh, there's something. So it's a bit like Defender of Thrust um, and a few other games mixed in, but now I can use the standard controller. Doesn't mean I'm going to be any better at it though. I'm a bit, the indicator doesn't necessarily help here. Can we go up here? Oh yeah, we can. I'm surprised I've actually forgotten about this game because, um, you know, the original victory. I am very much surprised. Well, interesting, when you die, you don't get refueled. Oh, there we go. You don't get refueled or anything. Interesting. So they're trying to steal Quark, so I suppose that's the analogue to the humans and Defender. So the scanner's got me a little... that out together later. Once I played with it a bit more, I probably would like. I um, I never played this back in the day, though. I will say that. Oh, that was lucky, and that was lucky as well. Oh, pure fluke. I said I'm playing on easy, so they're probably. Uh, t t attacking much of the ground stuff. Bonus. Okay. Why the bonus? Used up all my shield already because I don't know how I'm, which control I'm doing to turn that on. first. Oops. Okay, let's try and go and get some fuel. Uh-oh. Can 
I not move now? Well, at least they, at least they come to me when I run out of fuel. I ran out of fuel just next to the um, fuel thing, but you don't fall out of the sky. Thank God for me. Um, I'm actually really enjoying this one. I could, I could get into this game. Obviously, I need to learn a little bit more about the gameplay. Purely surviving by the seat of my pants at the moment. Oh, something's happening over here. Okay, it's a missile launched. I'm not sure I'm supposed to do anything about it. So it has got a little bit harder because they're shooting at me more now. Amazingly, I haven't crashed into the ground or, or anything embarrassing like that, but I just got shot by my own missile there. again. Well, I'm doing better than I expected. This is quite an enjoyable game and it works quite well with the standard controller. I can't imagine what it'd be like with how it'd be a roller controller game or is it a driving controller game? I'm going to have to look it up. Whoops. Oh, there I go. Must have got some extra lives here because we... Yeah, we've still got another life left. Proving to myself that I could refuel. Right, there we go. Oh, and he's done. Oh, oh it must be. That's your reserve. quite responsive control wise. It's a little confusing because I think one of the spots on the radar is actually a fueling station and I'm I'm taking that as an enemy that I need to hunt down. Well, I haven't actually lost any quarks yet. I should take it of the ships that are on the ground there, those blue, those blue things. did much better than I expected on that. That's definitely a game I will be revisiting and learning how to play properly and I'll be curious. My database actually does say that I have the game but I can't remember the cover to save myself so I reckon I've just got a loose copy sitting there that I haven't played for a very long time. Um, probably because I needed to get another controller out to play it. Alright, that's a great start to our gameplays. Let's try the next game. Right, Quatra um, by Nicholas K. Ampion 2017. So game A, yep, one player, definitely. Level zero, definitely. Height zero, yep. Excellent. Yes, beginner, begin beginner. And we have a Tetris game, cool. Can move it left and right. Okay, I can rotate using the two buttons. Um yeah, don't really have a lot of choice about being the first one. This is quite a responsive Tetris. Let's pop him over there. And it's got a bit of music playing in the background. <laughs> um, oh, we're 
we're still going to have a bit of a hole there. Well, this is quite a decent version of Tetris. I don't mind Tetris. I'm not doing a very good demonstration of Tetris. And I like how it's nice and smooth movement, uh, it's not chunky. So the um, program has done a very good job there. I'm not exactly stressing myself out on the level that I went for. And you've got the look ahead like you normally have. And I love that it's got a two-player mode. I'll actually be able to play this with um, uh, my youngest as well, I reckon. She plays two-player puzzle, um, puzzle bobble with me. This is nothing wrong with it, Tetris, isn't it? I just love how smooth the movement of the pieces are. That's just awesome. Clever use of um, you know sprites, mix up of sprites and tiles. as I can so I get the difficulty level up a little bit. This is a brilliant version of Tetris. So if you guys watch, you can tell I'm getting completely suckered into the game, can't you? Nothing wrong with a decent game of Tetris. There we go. Get two rows at once. So I take it we get a higher bonus uh, the more rows we clear at once. There we go. There's a couple of lines. So we're on level two when we've done 24 lines. only fairly simple but you don't need to go to town too much on music with Tetris see patient wins out quite a few lines in a row there so we're on level three so it has finally sped up a little bit so I said obviously you can start it on um, Difficult, difficulty levels. And playing two players would be very interesting. I reckon my daughter will give this a go. But 
this place a very decent game of Tetris. And put that there, we get number two lines. I'll, just, well, I'll go to we'll get to level four just to see it speed up and then we better leave it. Otherwise we'll eat up too much video time on me. And I dare say I have played <coughs> Tetris a fair bit over the years. Interesting enough, um, a Game Boy was not the first machine I played Tetris on either. Hey, level four. It's, it's um difficulty speed up's not too bad. So, and, that, and as you saw, there are a couple of game variants. So anybody who is into Tetris, this is a very very good version. So, all right, let's try the next game. Right. So next we have Flora and the Ghost Mirror. Um, it says shooter on the back. So let's see how we go. Um, I'm really enjoying these gameplays, so I love getting. Okay. Oh, Tiffany speech. Okay, so I've got a cloud, and I can shoot light. Okay, grab that. Right. Okay. Shoot him, and that that recharge. See that recharges over there. See how we've got hit points. We've got someone to collect them. Ooh, there we go, that did a big upgrade. Sweet. So this must be casting spells. Now, can we go off the screen? No. Oh, we can. Ah, we gotta go make the flowers grow. Right. People are probably going. Would help if you read the instructions, but anyway, what's the fun in that? Not sure what some of the collection things do, but that's all right. Oops. Pieces too, right, okay. I made the pieces go up because there's no actual, you know, there's no actual score so far or anything. But every time I do my thing, it makes the mana go down. So shooting lots of those doesn't really do anything except maybe make some more things appear. Ah, look, they're stampling, trampling on the flowers. Three pieces. Four pieces. Right, so I've actually made all the flowers right. Oops. Five pieces. Okay. Six pieces, right. Okay, then we cast this spell and we sack them all in there. Sweet! Okay. Stage 2. This is pretty cool. It's interesting. I'm not sure what that red thing is. Maybe that's the thing to change the colour of the flowers. It's a bit harder now. Let's go get that one. It's actually taking more magic to um 
to do everything, I noticed. It's another piece. I'm not sure what the necklaces do, they give you something different, I think. Those more often now. Another piece. It's definitely a, quite a different concept for a game. Six pieces. There we go. I think she's saying. Cool, it's definitely a very different game. So, without collecting anything, I'll just see if I can change it. I'm going to change the flowers so that getting the red one doesn't do that. Obviously, getting that blue one gives you a big hit up in those stakes. See now, obviously harder difficulty level. I have to be very careful with my magic. Changing the flowers does for you. So somehow I killed a whole lot of them then. Oh, what happened there? I need him. Yeah. charge thing increase when I have more flowers. Help. Oh. It's down to three little diamonds down the bottom. It does 
Let's recharge your health at the end of the level though, we'll say. Damn it, I'm not killing them at the moment. Damages me or not. Definitely getting more hectic. More set of hit points. No, got me. Um, well, quite an interesting game. Obviously, need to read the manual so what the particular pickups do in particular circumstances. But um, it's always nice to have. A game of slightly different concept and speech in the game as well, which is awesome. So another great one by Daniel. Alright, let's try our next game. Alright, so next we have tank mission, so it's asking me to select between normal and F18A. Now I don't have an F18A, so we'll have to go normal. Quite low sound, but be a better boost that and edit anyway. Intro tune, nice and colourful. So, 2016 Leo Brophy. Uh, we better go private. We know how good I am at games when I've never played them before. Welcome to Tank Mission. Uh, locate the Enigma. Right, little radio thing. Oh. Okay, where in the hell am I? Oh, down the bottom left. There we go. supposed to shoot yet. I tell you, we'll work it out. Oh, there we go. Ah! Seem to be 
here to control my... Wow. Well, at least this resets. Oops. So I've got more fuel again. Controls are getting me a little bit. on the um, detail of the um, graphics. But, oh, did I get him? I don't know how, what determines the um, length of the shot. So I actually blew that up there. Just a little. Right. Is that one of the things I need to shoot? Somebody just dropped a bomb on me. to die so much. Right, I think I'm starting to get used to it. So obviously you have armor whereas the other tanks don't. Um, get a little confusing with so much going on. Re like all the color they've put into the um, into the game. I just need to read the instructions a bit more and I reckon I can quite enjoy this. Um, interested to know how you get out of your tank and go on the buildings and things like that as well. So requires further investigation. Very impressed. All right, let's try our next game. Right. Collectivision presents, like the new logo guys, The Castle. Asky and Seagull, 1986. Okay. This is demo mode. Let's get into it. So, I'm a little dude on the left there. I'm jump. A key so I can go through a door. Jump over, guys. Yep. Um, so, in a way, this is a little bit manic minerish. No. There's a bit of leeway in the jumps from memory, but as you can see, it's quite a colourful, very well done game. How did 
did I make it over that first night, first go? And now. things we can push and move. Oh, damn it, Mr. Jump Up. Walked into our last life. see where we are. Right, you can see a bit of everything leaking together now. hovering in the sky, which is, thank goodness, like so. Phew! Hmm, well, that's a difficult one to get. You have to almost... Hmm. So as you can see, it's a puzzle platformer, and there is a fair bit to to see the number of rooms we have over there. Now, let's see if we can go up. Guessing here, I wasn't going to die in a second. Oops. Oh, okay. well, we probably do need it to go all the way up. This will get us a couple of keys. Yeah. That's interesting. Can't get hurt falling. Thank goodness for that. Can't quite make that. Ooh, interesting. Oops, ah. other than the slightly repetitive music that probably would send you insane eventually. 
this. Can I touch that? It's okay. Um, is quite an interesting little platformer. They give you a life. Okay, the little ampules give you a life. Oh, it squashes. Did it? Um, yeah, well, as you can see, the music actually changed in the next section. Do we have a blue key? Yes, we do. So we get out there, and we get another blue key there. We go. No! Oh! Um, really, really good game probably play these for hours um, so an awesome box set fortunately this was a limited run so um, uh, and they sold all of them it was always designed to be a limited set um, but you never know might find a copy out there somewhere but highly recommended um, but otherwise there are the original games on MSX and you'll be able to play them on under emulation all right but before we go we'll put in the second one and have a look I think it's pretty much more of the same but um, just to, conf just to confirm what it looks like in different. Let's go look at that now. Uh, Collective Vision presents Castle. Excellent. Love the animated titles. Great. So Steve, begin. Okay. So you, you've done an excellent job there, Steve. I'm very impressed. So this is Castle Excellent, the sequel to the original one. So it is more of the same. Once you get used to the controls, though. I can't make that jump, can I? Nah! Silly person. When's it going to put me? Right back there. There to get the map. You can see that you know it's a they're great little um, exploration puzzle platformers. Ooh, a block, a block we can push. And we can't quite reach that, so we need to push this. screen it resets. you've got the block which I've now put in the wrong spot I'm going to have to go to here if you go out and back to the things reset that's the question we want to ask yes they do um, so there's a decent puzzle element to this Block doesn't fall through, that's the only trouble. How in the world? I suppose you've got to come up the other way. Now 
Mission. I don't see how you can push the block the other way. Unless... Can you grab it? No, I can only push the block. And as soon as I put it there, I can't pull it back. Anyway, <coughs> I'm getting suckered in here. Um, both excellent games, well worth playing. So the best way for you guys out there to be able to play them if you don't have the physical copies is uh, grab uh, MSX emulator like Blue MSX or Open MSX um, and grab the ROMs and have a play. Both excellent games. All right, I've thoroughly enjoyed these new homebrew games for the ColecoVision, one of my favourite systems. Um, I'll put a little picture of how my collection's looking up after we finish here today as well. But all right, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.